Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. There's such honor, more than you can believe. From that which you call spirit, from that which you call the creator of all things, such honor. Looking at you, inside you, knowing your lives, knowing what you've gone through, such honor. Right now, for you. You call yourself an old soul, and you are. So many of you listening, and those in the room, you have something in common, and that's what we want to talk about tonight. And we want to talk about it in a way it's just a little different. And it's hard to even know where to go first. So there's a shift on this planet occurring that is extremely real. It is not esoteric. You see it in your news, you see it all around you. Things are changing. Even that which is the weather on target, we've told you, is a cycle of the planet that is responding right now ahead of time to you. All of these things, the things you see in the news, the dark army, the things that are happening to you personal, there's a shift going on. We've told you there's a new normal and that you are not going to be returning to the way it was. We told light workers to look for the new frequency and continue their work and, and not to give up. We've begged old souls to get out of the old paradigm of fear and, and victimhood and see their magnificence. But it's hard. So now we want to reveal some things. You start to put the puzzle together and connect the dots. I take you on a journey. A journey of you. Can you imagine how many lifetimes you have slogged through the darkness trying to hold a candle? of love. No matter what you were called, healer, shaman, magic person, whatever gender you were, even in the early days, old soul, you knew better. And when those around you were trying to beat the dirt, trying to get things to work, you had the answers. You knew Gaia. You knew the energies of the planet. You knew the power of colors and numbers. and You saw it in the stars. You had the intuition. And you guided so many. And so often, you died for it. Over and over, you'd awaken the next lifetime. And some of you would fear it, and you'd go right back to it. You couldn't help it. Because you were aware. Dear ones, when you're aware in a dark place, you can't hide your awareness. Oh, you can pretend. You can go into denial. But eventually, the light shows itself in certain ways. And the longer you were on the planet, the more your awareness grew. And you were still surrounded by those in the dark. And then we've told you why. Because the planet itself, in cooperation with you and your consciousness, created a dark light balance where there was more dark than light. Don't misinterpret this. Don't give it a name or a place. Darkness has the identity of lower consciousness. That's all. 
And so your awareness, your light, your higher consciousness of all that was, the realization you were from the Creator was yours alone. So many of you climbed into a closet not to come out, hoping nobody would ever know. Pretending with the others that you were in the dark. Some of you did that in denial lifetime after lifetime. Some of you are doing it today as you sit here. Defense against awareness. And it never got any better. It really didn't. In this lifetime alone, it didn't get any better. You had more openness because your culture allowed it. But you still didn't tell everybody what you did. Now, did you? Because there was a tremendous bias against things that were not easily understood. You still lived in a linear world. And so I look at those, even today, in the room and listening, who fought the dark and often lost until 2012. And all that I have been teaching for 26 years starts to occur. The prophecies that I gave of humanity 26 years ago are now on your news. I was able to do that because that snowball was rolling down the hill. This was not telling the future. This was giving you a surety, a potential of where you're going. Add to that, I've said this before, I've seen it on other planets. The attributes are the same. Because light and dark, awareness, low consciousness, fights the same way everywhere. Low consciousness does not know what it doesn't know. Makes decisions based upon what it doesn't know. Makes the same mistakes. Because it's in the dark. In the past, awareness has only been able to watch in horror as the mistakes were made and war after war took the lives of tens of millions. And you would secretly cry as you watched it happen and even your loved ones slaughtered in the melee. That's who you are until 2012. And then it starts to change. The stars have foretold it. The ancients have foretold it. The area you are in space is starting to change. The magnetic grid has moved. All that we told you starts to enhance the new human being. The wind starts to be at your back. More are listening to you. More are starting to see the light that you carry. But you're not doing a very good job. And the reason is the duality that you carry still carries all of the Akashic attributes and time fractals. Let me say that in clearer English. You're afraid because of what's happened in the past. Your Akash screams at you of what's happened in the past. Dear ones, you carry around a wound from the past. I want my partner to title this channel, Time to Heal the Wound. Every single one of you who is of a certain age that is Akashic, carries an attribute of lack of self-worth. Everyone. You may prance around and everyone thinks you're just really self-assured. I know better. You know better. Because when you get in the closet, your Akash tells you differently, doesn't it? 
The duality is so strong right now. We gave you this channel before in a different way. We told you what to do about it. And now we start to say it's time to heal the wound of the past that is self-worth. Is it possible? How can it be done? And now I'm going to give you some information. Dear ones, it's already starting to be done with you and for you. Years ago, I gave you information that was so far out to many about the seeds of creation, the Adam and Eve story to some of you. The creative story is of the Pleiadians. I sit in a continent where the indigenous believe this. For 40,000 years, their song line tells of it right here. And when the Pleiadians came, they came as a race that had gone through what you, what you went through. And they set up things because of this potential of the precession of the equinoxes that you would not destroy yourselves yet again. And they set it up with what you would call nodes and nulls, that is time capsules that would open at the right time and start cleaning and sweeping and pushing. And what they were doing was cleaning the akash of the old soul. If you allow it, Part of the essence of the crystalline grid of this planet, which is laid by the Pleiadians, part of the purpose of this is to clean the old soul's akash. Is such a thing possible? Boy, crying, you're giving me a, an attribute we never thought. Clean the akash, what does that mean? It means, dear ones, that the things inside you that would create the fear, the lack of self-worth, the hammer that's going to come down if you do something, if you align or awaken or do this or that, or become a shaman, that it's going to hit you. That means you're the ultimate spiritual victim. You know that, don't you? The ultimate spiritual victim. And the Pleiadians had gone through it. And the ones before them had gone through it. How do you clear that? And they knew that the human being couldn't. But Gaia can. How do you feel when you're in the middle of the beauty of the planet, the serenity of the planet, when the trees talk to you and but the wind speaks. And just for a moment, don't you feel free? Don't you feel free of everything? That's not an accident. The Pleiadians and the Gaia energy, and that which you would call Mother Earth and all the things, are aligned to start cleaning this up. The crystalline grid is what remembers humanity's emotions. It is responsible for you remembering you. And when it starts to realign, so does your Akash. Dear ones, start understanding that you can crawl out of this victim. You can start telling yourself through affirmations, through the benevolence of the love of God, in order to move forward, you must change it, and you will change it. And when you give intent for this, it's going to change. The fear is going to start lessening. You won't know why. You're feeling better. The odd thing about humans is that when you start feeling better, you go to see somebody to find out why. Like it's, it's a mistake. <laughs> so linear. I'm feeling good all the time. Who shall I see? You're going to start feeling better about yourself. And the big one is you're going to know it's okay to feel better about yourself. Because, dear ones, part of this is the realignment of human ego. 
Ego is a bad word. Ask any spiritualist. What if a certain kind of ego was okay? What if Akashic ego was okay? Where you look back and said, Wow, did I do a good job or what? Am I in the right place at the right time or what? This is good. <laughs> Everything that has happened to me has brought me to this place and I can breathe freer now. I don't have to sit and suffer because of what happened before. It's a disconnect. The giant scissors are going to come up from the crystalline grid and cut that cord of all the horror that is in that place you call duality, old soul. You don't have to suffer anymore. There's a system that's going to clean it up with you. But it isn't going to do it automatically. You're going to have to see it and look at it and listen to this channel a couple times. And understand that it's you with your intent. And then cooperation. What are you going to tell yourselves? What affirmations are you going to give yourself? Do you believe it? Can you cognize such a thing? Where the partnership with the planet and the creative source and the seeds of your biology all come together because they knew of this time and they knew of your lack of self-worth. All of you. You can't have gone through eons of horror and death and sorrow and come out the other side all perky and lovely. <laughs> Something has to happen. And it's happening. If you let it. Do you see the system and the benevolence and the love and the compassion that goes into this? Can you see it? Do you believe it? You're not alone. Oh, there's so much here. There's so much here. You may be the highest reader and healer in the room. But when you're alone, you doubt yourself, don't you? You want to know where that comes from? I just told you. It's time to have that go away. And what happens with the Kashik ego is not a false sense of assurance or bullying. It's you standing in your truth and people see it. Here is an assured, balanced person. I want to be like them, they will say. But you're not going to get there with a wounded Akash. The system is in place. It's starting now, old souls. You're on record. Start to accept these things and start to feel it because you earned it. And there will be those who listen to this channel who are old souls and turn their back and say, that's not the way metaphysics works. I've been told. Because they still want to buy into an old system. One that had no clue that this was going to happen. Or could happen. Or is able to happen. With the cooperation of that which is Gaia and all that you are. The system is in place for you to lift yourself up. From the spiritual victims that you are. Dear ones, you have fought the battle and suffered the wounds. And now it's time to watch this beautiful healing. With the compassion and the benevolence of the Creator inside you, smiling the whole way, taking your hands and saying to you, isn't it about time? <laughs> Enough said. It's good news. If you believe it, free choice. But there are old souls who really had their bell rang tonight. <laughs> it's beautiful, isn't it? To be known so well by God. And so it is. <laughs>